Okay, math, we're continuing with part two of the um, review video for the uh, the review assignment for the uh, quiz on week nine. Okay, so next we're going to do long division. Now, on a test, if I ask you to do it by long division, you have to do it by long division. You can't choose one of the other methods. Okay, so what you do here is you simply look at the focus on the first term there and the first term there. Don't worry about the three right now. So x times what gives you 3x to the third? Well, there's a there's a 1 in front of the x. First of all, we, we just need to have a 3 up here, definitely. So 3 and then x times what up here gives you x to the third? Well, x times x squared. Again, remember 2 plus 1 is 3, so you add the exponents. Okay, N now you take this. And actually, I told you that I like to do this. I like to put it in the proper column. So I have 3x squared up here above the x squared column. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go ahead and do it like that. Okay, so this equals this, so it's going to be 3x to the third. All right, so this term and this term always have to match when you're doing long division of polynomials, okay? All right, and now you have 3x squared times 3, so that's going to come over here and be 9x squared. Now put parentheses around all of this and put a minus sign out in front. So 3x to the third minus 3x to the third equals 0. This first term is always going to turn into 0. If it doesn't, you made a mistake. Now you have 3x squared minus 9x squared. So 3 minus 9 is negative 6. So that's negative 6x squared, like that. Okay, so now you have that. Now you're going to bring down the next term. Pull down is 2x. Okay, so now we're going to say what times x gives us negative 6x squared. Okay, well it's going to be negative 6x. Negative 6x times x will give us negative 6x squared. So I'm going to write that here. And now negative 6x times 3 is negative 18. If you need to use a calculator for these, uh, go ahead or use your times table sheet, okay? So that's going to be 18x, okay? So now we do this. Now be careful. This is tricky. Put a parentheses around this, and now put a minus sign out in front. So negative 6x squared minus negative 6x squared, so that becomes plus 6x squared. Negative 6x squared plus 6x squared is 0. Remember, this leading term always goes to 0. Now again, be careful. Negative, negative 18x is going to be positive 18x. So negative 2x plus 18x, or I think it's easier to think of 18x minus 2x, is 16x, positive 16x. Okay, so there you go. So now you do the pull down of the 4. All right, and x times what gives you 16x, that's going to be 16. All right, so 16 times x is 16x. Again, those two terms have to match every time. And 16 times 3 is 48, so plus 48. All right, and so now you put a parenthesis around that and put a negative sign out in front. So 16x minus 16x is 0, and 4 minus 48, and just do that on your calculator, it's going to give you negative 44. Okay, so now we're at the end of our uh, problem, and we have this, that's going to be the remainder. So the way you write the remainder is, you write it as plus, not a lot of space here, but I'll squeeze it in, plus negative 44 over the divisor, x plus 3. Like that, okay? Negative 44, the remainder over the divisor, plus x plus 3. You just put a plus sign out front, even though you have a negative sign there, just go ahead and put a plus sign out front. Okay, let's keep going on this. Okay, again, try to do this one on your own, and then watch me do it, okay, if you need help. All right. Okay, here we go. Here's another one. Now, this one's got a twist to it. Notice that there's no x to the third term here. There's also no x term here. So I'm going to write it like this. I'm going to rewrite this problem as this. So that's where the x to the third term should have been. 
because there isn't one and that's where the X term should have been because there isn't one. Now we're going to go ahead and do it the same way. So what do we have? What times 2x gives us 4x to the third? Well, what times 2 gives us 4, first of all? That's going to be 2. And that's got to go up here. Okay. 2 times 2x. Uh, okay, and then what times x will give us x to the fourth? And that's going to be x to the third. All right, so that gives us 4x to the fourth here. And 2x to the third times 3 is plus 6x to the third. Okay, now you put parentheses, minus sign. So these two cancel out, they always do. And then you got 0 minus 6x to the third is minus 6x to the third. Now you're going to pull down the 8x squared. Okay, and 2x times what gives you negative 6x to the third? So 2 times what gives you negative 6? Okay, and that's going to be um, negative uh, negative 3 and then x times what gives you x to the third that's going to be x squared all right so you multiply that times that you get negative 6x squared again these terms always have to be the same the first term negative 3x squared times 3 is negative 9x squared underline parentheses minus sign so be careful of all the negative signs here Minus, minus, minus is a plus, so minus plus is going to cancel out. First term always cancels out. Now it's eight, positive 8 minus negative, so minus negative makes it positive 9. So 8 plus 9, that's a positive number, is 17x squared. Okay. All right, now we pull down the next term, which is a 0. All right, so now 2x times what gives you 17x squared and that's a that's a quirky one it's going to be um, I didn't want it to happen but it happened 8.5 or eight and a half so we're going to say plus 8.5 okay 8.5 times 2 is uh, 17 and what times x gives you x squared it's x 8.5x Okay. Don't worry, you're not going to have any like this on this test, okay? Uh, x times, with, with a decimal number, okay? So x times x, so that's going to be 17x squared. And 8.5 times 3 is positive 24 point, 25, rather, 25.5, positive 25.5. Um, and it's x, let's see, 8.5x, uh, times 3, I'm sorry, yeah, it says 25.5x, okay, so put parentheses, negative sign, okay, that's going to be negative, this zeroes out always, and this is going to be negative 25.5, and you know what, okay, negative 25.5x, I'm going to stop it right there because this decimal is going to be a mess, okay, I got this problem out of a book, and I don't want to do it, okay, so there you go, you saw what the process was, okay, but I just wanted to show you how to handle a zero, okay? If you don't have, if you have a missing term like that, you have to plug a zero in, okay? And this is as far as we'll take this one. Okay, next. Okay, now we're using synthetic division. You can only use synthetic division when the coefficient in front of the x and the divisor is a one. You can't, if that was two x minus two, you couldn't do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take what makes this equal to zero? x minus two equals zero that would be the value of x would be two okay so we come over here and we write two and then we write an upside down bracket division bracket and we put a plus sign right here and now we write the coefficients here there are no missing terms so it's four negative two negative three and eight now you pull the first one down it's four 2 times 4 is 8, and now you're adding negative 2 plus 8 is positive 6. 2 times 6, you multiply these two to get this, is 12. Negative 3 plus 12 is 9. Okay, now you multiply these two and you get 18. Okay, 18 plus 8 is 26. Right there. And that last one is going to be your remainder. So you're always going to, it's always going to be one degree less than your original uh, dividend equation. So it's x to the third, so this is going to be x squared. So it's going to be 
x squared plus 6x, so this number, this number, then this number, plus 9, plus the remainder, 26 over this original divisor, x minus 2, and that's your answer right there. Okay, next one. Again, try to do these on your own. So let's do this one. I'll do this one quietly. Now, there is a missing term here. There's a missing x term, so you're going to have to put a zero in for that, okay? So let's go ahead. So what's our x going to be? It's going to be whatever the opposite of that number is. So it's going to be negative 3, okay? So here we go. Okay, and finally we're going to do some using the box method here. Okay, so remember your answer. Once you write the word here, answer goes up here. All right, and the first thing you're going to do, and the other thing you remember is middle, top, bottom. You go in that order, all the way across. Okay, so first, the first term here we're going to put in the middle. It's x to the third. And what I should have done is taken this and put it over here, x and minus 3. So this is x to the third right here. So we say x times what gives us x to the third. So again, this is the answer up on the top, x squared. Okay. Now we say negative 3 times x squared equals negative 3x squared. So again, notice the pattern. We started put this in first, we put this in second, we put this in third, okay? All right, and now what I should do actually is write this down here below. It's just going to help help us align the problem, keep it organized. Okay, now I have to ask, now you have to ask, what this squared? Well, that would have to be 7x squared. Okay. x times what gives you 7x squared? That would be 7x. And then negative 3 times 7x gives you negative 21x. Okay. Now we're going to the middle again. All right. And we have to say what plus this would give you negative 5x. And that would be positive 16x. Okay, and x times what would give you 16x? That would be 16. Okay, and now 3 times negative 16 is negative 48. All right. Okay, so you, you don't necessarily need the last box, by the way. I just put in four boxes automatically. So, okay. And so we get that. Okay, and now finally this minus 48 gives you 5, that's going to be 53, that's going to be your remainder. Okay, so this is your answer, so it's x squared plus 7x plus 16, okay, and then it's going to be plus the remainder of 53 over the divisor, x minus 3, there's the divisor, x minus 3, okay, that's the answer to that one, okay.